Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the Taimah Devara. Yichbaish Avaneseinu, that Hashem suppresses our sins. He allows our mitzvahs to ascend to the heavens, and He can, he can to an extent, suppress and disregard the chetayim, the sins that we do. Now listen what He writes. And because of this, it says in the Torah, Lo yikach sheichad Hashem does not accept bribery. What does he not accept bribery of? Shall mitzvahs, of mitzvahs. How does that work? Let me give you an example, he says. Hashem doesn't say, This fellow over here did 40 mitzvahs. The Esa of Eris, and he did 10 of Eris. So he's got 40 positives and 10 negatives. He says, you know what? Let's now say, the ten of errors that he did will cancel out ten of his mitzvahs, and we'll have thirty mitzvahs left, and they'll be we'll be even on in the world of averas because we 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 extracted and we like wiped out the ten of errors because we took ten mitzvahs from his stash of mitzvahs. Chas v'chalila says the Torah Devara, God forbid that we should say such a thing. Don't think that if you do a mitzvah. And then you commit in an Avera. The Avera is going to come and wipe away the Kiddush of that mitzvah, the power of that mitzvah, where that mitzvah landed in Shemayim. Chas v'chalila. Ela afilu tzadik gomer v'yos Avera achas. Even if a person was a tzadik gomer, completely righteous, and they did one Avera, one sin. Doi melefan of kilu sorev es ha-toira. HaKadosh Baruch Hu looks at it as if this one sin is considered to have been burning up the entire Torah. It's a terrible thing. Until this person pays off his debt, and after that, then he will be rewarded for all of his mitzvahs. So the Torah Devar is saying a fascinating idea. And that is, that when you do a mitzvah, the mitzvah is yours. It cannot be taken away by the Averis. However, the Avera could block the schar, the reward, from being granted to you. It doesn't remove the mitzvah. It doesn't destroy the mitzvah. It's not a contradiction to the mitzvah. But if you have an Avera, if you have a sin, you have to, you have to take care of that sin. What are you going to do, says Torah Medavara? You've got to do tshuva. That's what we're speaking about over here. You have to blast it out of your, out of your life and out of your being. And once that you do that, then all the kedusha, all the power, all the splendor of that mitzvah goes right back to where it was. And our Kodesh Baruch Hu then is going to reward you with the schar, with the ultimate rewards and the benefits and the dividends for the mitzvahs. So important to understand over here, says Talmud Devarah. There's a misconception in the world that when I do an Avera, it wipes out my mitzvahs, says Talmud Devarah. It's not true. When you do an Avera, it blocks your mitzvahs from being able to take root. When you do a sin, so it causes that all of that power that's in the mitzvah, it is going to be on hold until you eradicate the Avera from your life. That is what we're talking about over here, doing tshuva. And people that do tshuva, they are the b'mokim bali tshuva, oimdim, they are standing in very high places. And people that do tshuva, says the says the over here, so that person will be able to eventually reap the spiritual rewards. How? They'll reap the rewards because HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to make it that he's not blocking out your mitzvahs anymore. He's Adarab. On the other hand, your mitzvahs will be going straight through to the Shemaim, to the heavens. It will continue to create that power that was there to begin with. And the Avera that a person stumbled in once he eradicates it, he gets rid of it, it's gone altogether. And even though that a righteous person who does one Avera, he says strong words over here, Kilu Sarfes says as if he burned up the entire Torah, the, when he gets rid of the Avera, so then all of the Torah, all the mitzvahs, it comes right back to him. Have a wonderful day.